Not only do hybrid and electric vehicles create better air quality for the environment by reducing emissions, but they also allow us to save money on gas with better fuel efficiency. However, many of us might not have an electric car, and that's understandable. The infrastructure surrounding electric vehicles is still developing, so it may not be feasible for everyone to buy one, but that's also why hybrids are great transition models for car buyers. So if you're considering buying one, but not too sure about your options, Stay tuned because in this video, we're giving you the rundown on hybrids. So what exactly is a hybrid car? Well, a hybrid car engine runs on both gasoline and electric motor with an attached rechargeable battery for specifically electric power driving. The hybrid engine uses both engines fully making your car's fuel economy better than just a regular gasoline engine. There are two different types of hybrids you'll find in our lineup, the conventional hybrid and the plug-in hybrid. The hybrid comes in models such as the Avalon, Camry, Corolla, Highlander, Prius, RAV4, Venza, and Sienna models, as well as the plug-in hybrids which come in the Prius Prime and the RAV4 Prime. So you may be wondering, what's the difference between hybrids and plug-in hybrids? Conventional hybrids cannot be plugged in to charge the battery. Instead, the battery is charged through regenerative braking and by the internal combustion engine, while plug-in hybrids use both batteries to power an electric motor as well as gasoline to power its internal combustion engine. Plug-in batteries can be charged using an EV charging station. Once the plug-in car runs out of its electric power, it switches to the internal combustion engine. So if you kept your plug-in hybrid charged, you could solely allow it to run off of electric power. So let's talk about the pros and cons of these two. The pros of conventional hybrids are they're less expensive than plug-in hybrids and you won't need to charge your car to access its electric powers. The cons of conventional hybrids are they're not as economical as plug-ins and they can still be expensive. They also aren't tax exempt options. Plug-in hybrids. Pros, there's more range. You also get the best of both worlds with the advantages of both electric and gasoline vehicles. You are eligible for tax exempts. The cons are these models can be more expensive. They're also in high demand, so it might be a difficult time getting your hands on one. Also, owners need charging facilities. That's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more content on hybrids. Thanks so much for watching.